All right, so we are outside and uh, as you said, it's a little cool, but we're a bit ahead of last year for this task, which is planting our garlic. It was supposed to be done first thing this morning, but other things kind of crept up and uh, got in the way and well, not in the way, but took priority. So now we are in the mid afternoon, I guess, and it's starting to get a little bit nippy out. So, so we're going to get this done now. Fingers crossed we can get it done in time. We did our garlic prep. And yeah. uh, you've already seen that we'll video. We'll link that video above just in case anybody missed it. And in that video, we did talk about four different varieties, which we're not going to go into any details on right now. But uh, we're actually only planting two of them. So we're planting the elephant garlic, which is in here. You can kind of see it. And our music garlic, which is what we grew last year. And uh, we're really excited about it yes, because it looks super, amazing. Yes, we were super, super pleased. So those two how varieties. How many did we end up with the music? Well, last year we planted 280 cloves. Um, this year we've done 480. Yeah, 480 cloves. So we're Kept not quite doubling, in. we're like one and a half times. But uh, I think it will be ideal. I think it'll be a good uh, amount for us. A nice, nice slow creep. Uh, we definitely ran short this year. I had to buy garlic for, for canning, canning season because I ran out. So uh, we are a big garlic eating family. So this is still probably not going to be enough for us with saving from our own garlic for the following year. But it's a bit of a slow build, so yes, uh, but every year gets a little better. And it's an exciting project, so. On that note, we're going to go and plant this elephant garlic. So here we are. We've got some Swiss chard in the back that is going to stay in place. We'll probably keep eating off that. But basically this raised bed, so it's a four foot by four foot bed, uh, down the middle, kind of this strip, uh, we have planted, well actually I shouldn't say it all the way, to about there. We've already got some elephant garlic in here that uh, Honey Badgers sent us. Link her channel up above. You wouldn't know it, but it is still in there, and so it's laying dormant, and I'm just going to leave it in place. But what I'm going to do, originally we had some turnips in this bed, and kind of this part of the garden, there's nothing in now. We took our sugar beets out, so this has had quite a few different things in it. Sugar beets, turnips, some lettuce down the front. So basically what I'm going to do is space, I, we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine bulbs, and we're just going to kind of space them out in here and uh, see how it does. I've spaced these out fairly decently, kind of one row, and then an L kind of going up to here. Uh, we may come back and, pending how these come up in the spring, we may plant something low around them. But if they all come up, that'll be awesome. Now, of course, elephant garlic, even though it's called garlic, isn't actually true garlic. It's actually more closely related to leeks. This is going to be an interesting experiment. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to get these in and uh, on to the music. And this is our container of music garlic, which really is the main focus of this uh, afternoon's planting exercise. As we get started setting up here to plant our music garlic, we are Marking out, we're going to do it this year in rows of four instead of rows of three. So each one of these stakes, one, two, three, four, represents a two foot section that's going to have four rows in it. Now we don't have a dibbler. We really need to invest in one of those. And uh, if anybody's got some uh, you know, suggestions or links for where they've gotten theirs, they would love that. We also could make one, so we might do that too. But it's always nice to look at the options. But right now, what we're doing is laying the groundwork here. We are getting our hay laid on our paths in between the rows first so that we can walk on that as we then get everything all set up. One thing this year that we are doing is we are not tilling this. This is where our potatoes were growing this year in, um, the, in the summer. And uh, we're not going to till this. They uh, worked it up quite nicely. There was a lot of mulch on those uh, potatoes as well. So all we've kind of done is sprinkled some ash from the fireplaces as we clean them out uh, and uh, basically that's it. We're going to get these planted in their little holes and uh, cover them up with mulch and I think it'll work great for next year. So anyways, we'll bring it back when we got it all set up and are ready to go. Well, there it is, kind of all set up. Now we think we're not going to use all four of these for the music garlic, but we're just going to kind of get going with it and see where we end up. We're going to start with this one. All right, so a little bit of update. We've got one row planted. 
four. Well, uh, actually equals four rows. Well, actually, that's true. It's one sort of mega row with uh, four rows of garlic in there. So this row behind me, which goes a little bit further down to this stake here, this row behind me has 132 uh, bulbs or cloves planted in it. And now I'm going to go and help get the rest of the holes into this row done. Row number two. I'm dwindling. But we have row two, which I guess is uh, five, six, seven, and eight, technically. Yeah. But our, our big row two is planted. And Stephanie has this row almost done. Almost done. So I'm going to help her finish that off. And uh, then we'll get that one planted. It's certainly progressing, although uh, it is one of those things, you know, we haven't really been at this for very long. It's kind of, it's like digging potatoes. You're kind of glad it only happens kind of really the once a year. So Chris is getting these planted here. We're, well, this row I think might have ended up a little bit crowded, but uh, we're going about the five to six inch mark apart. Uh, these ones, some of them are more, more like the four inches, but uh, basically getting them in there about three inches deep. Show them which side to plant it, Chris. Put the little disc side down, because that'll be your roots. Yeah, pointy this side is, up. a uh, little bit damaged, but we're going to plant it anyways. And uh, see what happens. Some of our cloves are really big this year. Yeah, they are, which is not a bad problem to have. Well, that's what we have left. The rest of that bowl is planted. So we're actually going to put this aside for today and probably come back to them tomorrow, which isn't ideal, but that's what's happening. But we are, well, Stephanie is at the point where she's just lightly raking over top of the, uh, the bulbs to kind of help fill it in a little bit. And then uh, we're going to open up another bale of straw and sprinkle that on top. And this straw, we actually use hay. Yeah, it's hay, but that's okay. It's first cut hay. Yeah, we're going to get that on top, and we have three rows planted. So, so this row is planted, yeah. this row is planted, and uh, that row over there is planted. So basically, in total, we got 440 of the bulbs planted in the three rows. We thought we were going to get them all into the three rows, which is actually 12 rows. Uh, but it didn't work out just for spacing. They, we wanted to give them a little bit more room. But uh, all in all, not too bad. No. 40 planted already, and hopefully we'll find a spot for those other ones tomorrow. So, Chris is working on the final step here. Getting these rows covered and mulched for winter. We're just basically duplicating what we did last year. And uh, it worked really well. And if it's not broke, don't fix it. Don't fix it. So we're going with the same method. And fingers crossed we get the same results. We'll bring you back tomorrow morning maybe if we finish off planting those last couple. So I was going to show one thing different here that we, I, we didn't really say what we were doing. But so these, like this strip here that we laid down first is essentially our path. And what we did was we took out flakes <laughs> and laid them down without kind of uncompacting them. And the reason we did that is because then what we found last year, and last year was the experiment, that uh, they basically stayed quite intact and we didn't get a lot growing up in between them. But then as you can see, I can kind of actually see it, even though it probably looks a little bit like a blob of, of straw type hay, but in between here, so here's kind of the, in between my fingers is kind of where the garlic is roughly. And as you saw, we're just kind of, shaking it onto it so that it's it's covered but it's not a dense dense layer and uh, we found that worked really really well it kept it protected but uh, the garlic had absolutely no problem coming up through it but then like you see down here where the paths were we really didn't get the weed growth until really late in the year when the when the straw started to break down so just wanted to mention that and the weed gr the weed growth that we actually saw I believe probably came from the straw. It was a lot of ragweed and things like that, uh, wheat seeds even, that uh, came up with that straw. So I have a feeling that the weeds that did grow on the path at the end of the season actually came from the straw. The straw left in that compacted bale flake 
really did a great job at keeping the weeds under control. And we'll see how this works for the with the hay because I'm really, I mean, it's it's hard to tell 100%, but I'm not seeing a lot in the way of seeds in this. So it would have been hard. I mean, hay in our area is usually harvested before it actually goes to uh, to seed. So I'm not seeing a whole lot in the way of uh, seeds in this. So hopefully, well, we've decided to just finish this up. We're going to get the last of these music garlic uh, cloves in the ground. There's everything basically mulched, but you can't even see the rows now. They're in there, and we're just going to come down part way here and uh, plant what little is left. Well, it's all in, not all the kinds, but all the music garlic it's in, and that is the main bulk of our patch. Yep, so music um, and elephant garlic are done. Yeah, we still probably have about a hundred cloves between the other two kinds that we've got to find a spot for, but... Well, we think we have enough enough space to do the Siberian garlic, because we don't have a lot of them. Uh, and then we'll have to see about the last one, whether we uh, where we put it. Yeah, but hopefully uh, we got these in just in time. Uh, our next couple of weeks are actually... Cooler. Cooler at night, we're dropping below zero, but they're still staying above zero during the day. So hopefully that'll give them time to kind of anchor those roots a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, we had no problem last year planting them a week from now, so uh, I think we might be in the we might be in the positive on this one this time. We might Again, just be okay. Yes. So, anyways, stay tuned. I'm sure we'll do some sort of a little clip garlic, on the garlic planting point two, part two, <laughs> part two with all the uh, other kinds. But uh, maybe we won't bore you with the details. Who knows? But uh, anyways, we're glad that we actually got this in. This is one thing off the list that's been on the list for quite some time. Pretty pretty major thing too. Yeah. So, so uh, now. It's on to all the other things on the list.